Hi guys, it's uh, Revitors Asia once again. We will resume our uh, review tutorial for the part 3 of this uh, parametric table panel. Uh, we will add chairs on this one and in, on the chairs we will also put some parameters. We will use this one and then I will uh, create a new family using the generic observe using the generic line base okay so I'll just uh, modify this a little bit So I will insert this uh, chair on that uh, line base family. And then we will use array uh, parameters here. So first, I will add again additional reference plane on both sides. We will put parameters. <coughs> Say this will be my care offset. Then we will use instance so that it will be readable. It will nest this uh, care family in our table family. Instance. Okay. So we need to align this. Block it. We need to align it from here. Block it. So I will use array parameters. So click this chair and then click array here. Make sure it is on the last um, option. So we will add also the number of chairs. So just click this one and this temporary dimensions appear. So click that and add parameter. Make this one also as an instance. So say this number of chairs. So we'll flex. We will adjust the length. Two three meters. So I will adjust the offset of my chair to say four hundred. Okay, so it's working now. We will load this one on our table family. This is this one. So load. Yes. So this will be my system. Yes. I will sketch it maybe here. 
Okay. So now, uh, the parameters of this one again, which is to be the offset and the number of chairs, we'll transfer that one on the parameter of, we'll include that one on the parameter of uh, table. So we we'll click this chair offset and then we'll add, this one we'll use type that's fine. That should be chair offset. Click OK. And then this one. Number of chairs. I, here I will choose constraints. So that it will round off all these uh, this map places once we adjust the length of the table. Okay, so now let's try to align this here. So this is 250. So I will align my chair on this reference plane. The center of this, but the edge, the end point of the plane will be aligned it on this reference plane. Okay, so we align first this side. Love it. We align here on the side and block it. And then oh sorry. Make sure you have to check this one, guys, because if I will go back, uh, if, if I will uh, switch into the front view, you notice that the chair is above of the table, and I don't know what's the reason why. So all you have to do is to align it here on the reference level. And I can move this one here. Then align. Lock it. Align. And align it near the center of this one. Okay. So let's try to flex the table if, if the character also follow. Length. Okay, I'm just to show you this. And I think that. And I'm going to share. And I'm going to share. If I will add more. Okay. So I need to mirror this or copy this one on, on that side as well. So I can copy this. And to mirror that one. Use it on this side. Okay, so same thing we need to align. So you need to lock it as well. So we have now chairs on two sides of our table. So let's take a flex it again. Uh, length. 
mm number of shares for one meter. So now, uh, I want the the number of shares that will be driven by spacing. And I don't want the number of shares to be driven by this parameter. So I want to, to add a new parameter, which we call it, say, here. Spacing. So we can put a temporary value of, say, 500. Now, we need to check the actual length of the chair. What is the actual length of the chair? We attach it from this reference plane, from that one to this one, which is the, the value of this uh, chair length will be length minus this leg offset, because we attach it here on the leg offset. Okay, so we add again another parameter, and then we call this one chair array length. Okay. So now we will put a formula here. So the formula of this is to get the length of the chair. The formula of this, a simple formula, is length minus leg height two times. Okay, so length, leg offset. So I will copy the leg offset. And share array length is length minus leg offset times two because it's on the both side and the so the leg the length of the array here is three five eight six line. So let's check P586 from this reference plane to that reference plane. The value is here, P586. Okay. So now what we will do is we need to put a simple formula again here on our number of pairs. So the formula is Chair array length, just copy this one, and paste it here. Divided by chair spacing. And there. So we have seven chairs. Right now, click apply. Okay, so now instead of using number of chairs before, the spacing of this uh, chair should be driven by chair spacing. So the advantage of this every time you change the the length of the table, the spacing is still the same. So, if I will adjust the spacing to 600. Okay. If I will adjust the length to 3 meters, we have that. We will adjust that one to 5 meters. We have that. Okay. 
So you can use this one now in into your project. Okay, so let's try also to flex the wheel or the depth, say two meters. Make sure that the the table family is functioning well in terms of adjusting the parameters. Okay, so one, two. And then length two five. Okay, guys. So I hope this will help uh, into your project, and then this will add more uh, knowledge on how you create your parametric uh, table in advance. Uh, process. I can call this an advance because uh, it's a long process and we nest three types, one, two, three types of family here. And we nest it on, on this uh, table. Okay, so maybe for the next uh, tutorial, uh, just just uh, watch out for the next tutorial and then I will just uh, post it on my channel and you can also put comments uh, what you want, uh, what type of tutorial you are you are looking for, and let's see if we can we can help you guys. Okay.